Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be showing you how to build a map wall in Minecraft. This is basically going to be a cool map of the overall area that like, you know, you're you're basically living in or wherever you want to build a map wall of. There are some pretty cool ones and uh, the one we're going to build here is just going to be of this, uh, this little area here. But if you want to know the seed of this world, there it is. First and most though we do have much from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS break in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love it so much that we have our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So, if you want to go ahead and start your very own Minecraft server, so you can make your map wall with your friends, check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to do that. But this is a new kind of video we're doing, um, where we're going to be doing some more in-game stuff in Minecraft. Normally, we focus on Minecraft servers, Minecraft mods, things like that here. But we're going to be doing a little more in-game tutorials as well. Today, we're going to be making a map wall. So, the first step of making a map wall is making a wall to put your map on. I'm going to be using uh, stripped oak wood here because I like the look of it, but it literally does not matter what you use. It can be absolutely any block whatsoever that you want, right? It does not matter. So I'm just going to be using this because I like the look of it and think it looks pretty cool. However, I have placed it all unevenly and it's going to be this uneven pattern, but we're going to go ahead and say it's supposed to look like that. Sure. So there is that. There's our map wall. That's going to bother me. Hold on real fast. Let me, let me, let me just, uh, let me just fix this. It, it's a quick fix and um, it, it needs to be done for my OCD. There we go. Okay, cool. So now we have our map wall. Now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and make item frames. Now on the screen right now, you can see your crafting recipe for item frames. It's pretty simple. Sticks and leather. That's it. You know, put the leather in the center, sticks around that, and you have yourself an item frame. And anywhere you want your map wall to be, we can go ahead and place this. I'm actually going to leave a border on this. So I'm going to put item frames right like so, all the way around here. And there is that. So there is our map wall. And um, basically there's our, our border for the map wall around that, and then our map wall is going to be in the center where the item frames are. Then we need empty maps. Empty maps are made using a compass and paper. Put the compass in the center and paper all the way around it, and you can see on your screen right now what the recipe for paper and what the recipe for a compass is, right? So you can see those on your screen. Paper is just sugar cane in the line, and the compass is some redstone and iron, and then you want to combine those in your map, which is going to be on your screen right now, and there's the crafting recipe for a map. Pretty cool and simple. You put the compass in the center, and then put your paper around that, and you get a map, and it's an empty map. Now, Let's go ahead and start off by just making our map wall, and then I'll show you how to add banners to a map wall. I would recommend doing kind of that at the same time, but we're going to go ahead and do this first, and then we'll come back and make the uh, add the banners to it. So the first thing we want to do is we want our spawn to be in the center. Our spawn is right here. So basically, just take your empty map, sit here, and right-click with an empty map, and then you're going to get this block right here, right? You're going to see this, and you want to make sure that the map is completely filled out, so we need to fly this way a little bit and fill this out. It's a lot easier to do this with fly, and for the purpose of this tutorial, so it's not like seven hours long, we're going to be using fly but you can also just walk around with your map and do this as well. So now we want to go ahead and before we place this map down, we want to make our next map. So let's go ahead and do that by looking at our character. See our little like the white dot on the screen there? We want to go off of this map, right? When that white dot turns like into a solid dot, we want to go ahead and go to another map and place it down. Now if you line these maps up, you'll notice they're right next to each other. So if we go back, we'll be entering this map, and then if we go to this map, we'll be entering this map from the other side. So again, we wanted our spawn to be in the center, so we want to take the spawn map here and place it down right there. Then, we want to go ahead and directly next to it, place down this map. See? So we're going in a straight line. We started here, we went over to this map right here, and then we go to the next one. Now, normally, let's say you're in survival, right? You wouldn't have these maps anymore, so what you want to do is take this map down off the wall, which, because I'm in creative, that just got rid of it. So, one, one quick second. There we go, we've got this map back now. So we would want to take this map down and then go ahead and create our next map, which is going to be going forward right like so. You can kind of see the process. It's just going until you're off of the next map. Boom, right here, we are now off of that map. Go on to this one, get this map here, make sure it is all filled out. There we go. And then now we can come back and place these in. I'm going to time set day for us real fast. But uh, now we can come over here and place both of these down, and it's just a repetitive process, right? It's just going back, going to the next place on the map, and then placing it down. But now we can see we have this entire row right here, halfway done. Now we want to go ahead and take that spawn map. Since we're in creative, we can just duplicate it. These are a lot easier to make in creative. Not impossible in survival. They're easy to make in survival. They just take a little bit more time and, you know, planning. But now we have this map. We want to go right off of our map here, going this way. And once we go off the map, we want to, again, you guessed it, place down the next map. We're actually going to grab two of these because we need to, right? So I would recommend kind of just doing one row at a time. That's, that's typically what works best for me. So we've got this map now. Then we can go ahead and go on and wait for it. Grab the next one and then we'll be all good. We've got our entire middle row finished of our map wall. And we want to go ahead and make sure that map's entirely filled out. And then we can go ahead and return back home, right? That's simple. And luckily, you have maps to get you there. Now we're going to enter into this map. And then after this map, we're going to enter into this map right here. And as you can see, we have our little green arrow there 
for spawn, or it's not even spawn, that's just kind of where the main area is, our original map. So now, we want to go ahead and place these down, right like so, that goes there, that one goes there, and now we have the first row complete and looking good. Look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this next row down by starting with, again, our spawn map, and then we're going to go down to the bottom, right? So we want to go bottom. So we're going to go down here. And then once we get down here, you guessed it, we're going to make another map, right? So boom, there we go. Another map, fill that one in. And then we want to make another row, right? So we're going to go ahead and go on over and make another row, right? Like so. So we're going to go ahead and go this way first. So boom, once we exit this map, make another map, go to this map. Once we exit this map, we're going to make another map. And then you guess it will be done with this part of this row here. I want to make sure that's all filled out. And then now we can go back to our home base. It's a repetitive process over and over and over again, but it's really cool when it's all said and done. You're going to really be able to see the coolness factor that this has here in a moment. So let's go ahead and make sure we get these maps placed down in the correct order, which can sometimes be, okay, there we go. I think that's correct, right? Yep, that looks correct. And then that one, and then that one. And look at that. You're starting to really see the overview of this area. Could you imagine if we had some cool builds in this plains biome? I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick little time lapse. We'll ramp the music up here for a second. Do a quick little like 30 second time lapse of me finishing the rest of this off. Also, I just realized my face cam would be a little weird in this time lapse. So we're going to go ahead and uh, turn that off. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and do this little 30 second, 20 second time lapse of me finishing this off. So there we have it, a fully completed map wall. I'll go ahead and bring back the face cam there. Fully completed map wall, looking good. Now, what if you wanted to add like a spawn banner? Right here is our spawn map. I just kind of know that. So if we go ahead and duplicate that and then pull that off. We wanted to add a banner to this map or specifically a marker to where it marks spawn as right here. Here's what we would do. We would go ahead and get an anvil and we would get a banner. So as you can see, we have a white banner here. Doesn't matter if it's white, black, blue, green, yellow, doesn't matter. Go ahead and take whatever banner you want, place it in here, and then we're going to enable this spawn, right? So name that spawn. There it is. We can go ahead and then place this down. I actually have one there for testing. We can place this down. It doesn't have to be underground. It could be above ground as well, but I just want to show you that you can cover it up and make it like it's not even there. Then what you want to do is take your map. I would recommend like getting your cursor right over the banner, move to your map and right click and boom, there you have it. We now have this spawn appear. And when we come over here, we can place this down right like so, and it stays on the map as spawn. So this looks like a mountain down here. Let's go ahead and do that one. To do that, we again need to take a banner. We're going to use our black banner now. So let's go ahead and do this. Boom. We're going to name this one as mountain, right like that. Grab that, and we want to go to the mountain. But to do that, we need to go ahead and grab our mountain map. And we're going to use the map, actually, as kind of some uh, navigation over here towards this, because I don't know exactly. I know it's over in this area, but I don't know exactly where. So if we come down here, we can see we're now kind of in the map and move south. And we're going to end up on this mountain here. So this is the mountain. So we again want to go ahead and place this underground. We can go right like so, place that down, get out our, ma our, our map, put our cursor over the banner, and boom, right like so, that is now marked. Now we want to go ahead and cover that hole up, right like so. And as you can see, the different colors actually translate through. The mountain is the black banner, whereas the spawn is the white one there. And then the blue one as well, and we do that one here in a second, will be blue, right? So anyway, we're going to go ahead and go back over to our map wall, place that down. Just get rid of that spawn map. We don't need that anymore. Let's go ahead and place this down on our map wall. That will be marked. And then we're going to do one more just to kind of prove a point. But nevertheless, we'll leave the blue banner above the ground because, yeah. So anyway, let's see. What do we want to mark as blue? Maybe something on this side of the map. I don't know. We'll just do... Um, this we'll just do this little lake here. Sure. <laughs> That'll work. Let's go ahead and duplicate that. Oh, nope. We got to duplicate the map. Just give me a second. There we go. Map is finally duplicated. Took us a second. And uh, I think this is the one. Oh, nope. Oh, I don't, I don't know if that was the one we wanted to get rid of. It was, but I accidentally got rid of that one as well. I'll fix that here in a second. Let's go ahead and mark this. But first we need to mark this as small pond because that's what we're going to mark is a small pond. So small pond. And we'll leave this one kind of, you know, above the water because why not? It'll look a little weird, but it's just a proof point that they don't have to be underground. Again, we're using our map here. I think I might have went the wrong way. I think I needed to go this way. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and move on over as well because I think we're, we're outside of the maps area. Let's go ahead. Yep, yeah, there we go. So now we've entered this. We're on this side. So that means we need to come back this way a little bit, I think. 
That's what that's going to mean. Maybe we're not going... Yeah, okay, we actually need to go this way. See, I'm, I, I, I'm failing here. I apologize. But overall, that's the simplest. Uh, you know, this is the, how you can make a map wall. It's very simple, very easy. We're going to go ahead and mark this little pond right here. So in order to do this, we obviously need a brick over it because we're just proving that you can, you know, do this with... Uh, with a banner over the water. So boom, go ahead and mark that. As you can see, that is blue and it is over the water and still working there. Actually, it doesn't matter if it's over water, over whatever, and it's still working. Fly back over here to our map wall, which this might not be the right way. Um, I don't think it is. It's, it's over this way, isn't it? Anyway, let's go ahead, fly back to our map wall. I'll do a quick jump cut once we get there and, or until we get there, place this down, fix the other map, and we're gonna be good to go. We'll have a complete map wall. There we go, thanks to the magic of editing. We now have this added in with its banner and the map next to it has been fixed. So yeah, there is how you can make a map wall. These can literally be as large or small as you want with as many banners as you want. You can do multiple banners per map. It's really, really cool and um Overall, a really awesome way to kind of set up your world and add in cool different stuff. On our server, Breakdown Craft, there is so many cool map walls of people's areas, of people's towns, of spawn, all of that stuff. It's really, really cool and something that you can try on our server as well. You can make these map walls on Breakdown Craft, Survival, and Skyblock servers. So go check them out at play.breakdowncraft.com and make some map walls of your own. But nevertheless... That is how you can make a map wall. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, let us know what other general more Minecraft tutorials you would like to see us do. You know, this is kind of one of our first. What is another one you would like to see us do? Let us know in the comment section down below. But nevertheless, my name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.